Hey guys, this is Manish Sethi, and right now I'm in Portland, Oregon. I'm gonna be sitting down with Steve Cam from nerdfitness.com. Great site, great guy. Come with me, let's check it out. I'm really, really excited to talk to you, Steve. Uh, you're one of my inspirations online, one of the bloggers that do some really cool stuff. Really? Yeah, uh, really. Thanks, man. No matter how much shit I give you, I <laughs> kind of like your stuff. Thanks, man. Um, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, um, about you know, your blogging and your website and your, your, like, your vision. Sure. And uh, why don't you uh, introduce yourself to the Hack the System audience? Absolutely. So I've been running a website called nerdfitness.com for three and a half years now. And really it started, I want to say, about five years ago. I had this idea, like... Pretty simple. Hey, I'm a nerd. I like fitness. <laughs> maybe, maybe there's something we can do to stick them together. And I Googled and nothing popped up. So I bought the domain nerdfitness.com and came up with the tagline, level up your life. And decided that I just wanted to kind of start helping nerds get healthy. I thought it was a, a group of people that, that could use, uh, use some direction and guidance and, and have a little bit of fun along the way. So I write about things like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings and, and push-ups and the paleo <laughs> diet. And, People are like, how does that connect? I'm like, don't worry about it. Trust me, it makes sense. <laughs> Check out the site, and I guarantee you'll be like, oh, okay, I get it. I get it. That's kind of cool. So yeah, I've been I've been running for about three and a half years now. So how did it progress? I guess you started off just like, were you already in shape when you started the site? Uh, no, honestly, my my journey with fitness probably started over a decade ago. Uh, I got cut from my high school basketball team, oh. which is. Not really surprising. I couldn't dribble with my left hand. I was like <laughs> five ten, a hundred pounds. Like no business, <laughs> no business being on a basketball court. Uh, but I, I, I decided like, damn it, I'm gonna come back next year and I'm gonna, I'm going to, be really strong and big and 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 make a team. So I signed up for a gym membership and almost killed myself by dropping. I loaded up like a, a bench, you know, went to do a bench press and loaded up forty five pound plates on either side, and like my arms are shaking before I could even take it off. The <laughs> Boom! Right on my chest, I had to like rotate and the weight spun off. And, oh, dude, like the most humiliating moment of my life. But I very quickly realized then and there, like, okay, I didn't die, and this is kind of cool. I like this concept of getting a little bit stronger. And for me, as a gamer growing up, it just made so much sense. Like, okay, cool, you can pick up 10 pounds this week, next week you can pick up 15. Mm -hmm. and the week after that, you can pick up 20. Like, just, you know, from a role playing game perspective, yeah. it's like building a character in RPG. Yeah. And I really, really jumped on that. So uh, it, was, it wasn't really until after college. Um, I, I'd spent most of high school and all of college reading like Muscle and Fitness and Bodybuilder, mag you know, like all those magazines just to try to get strong and healthy and had zero success uh -huh. in six years. And then after that... Did you lift at that time? Or? All the entire time. I, five days a week. Five days a week for, for years. And I think I put on like four pounds of muscle. It's like <laughs> just a complete waste of my time. And I quickly, re and I eventually realized, like, uh, after, I, after I graduated college, I moved to California, mm -hmm. got a gym membership, and they gave me a five free personal trainer sessions. Okay. So I sat down with the guy, I was like, dude, I've been lifting for six years, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Guy's like, all right, give me your workout, and what are you eating? He's like, okay, never mind, okay, double what you're eating, yeah. cut your workout in half, focus on these six exercises. Like, all right, dude, and I put on like 20 pounds in a month. It's <laughs> like... Oh, I get it. Yeah. When you combine diet, proper diet with, with lifting. And for me, it was, I wanted to get bigger and stronger. Mm -hmm. For other people, they just need to lose weight. So that's when it kind of clicked for me in the head. Like, okay, man, there's more to it than just picking up a weight. It's mm -hmm. combining it with healthy living and, and proper diet and manipulating both of those things along with your workout to get your desired goal. For me, it was I want to be a super, uh, you know, superhero, super big and strong. Big. Other people, they might need to lose 100 pounds, but it's the same concept. It's clean eating heavy lifting mm -hmm. and, and finding what works best for you. And so you found that it was like, I see people at the gym who are lifting like, you know, a lot, very little weight or they'll just go there and use a machine a little bit. They don't have a structure oh, and stuff. Pain, pain. And you're just like, I, I look at them and I'm like, you guys have been coming to the gym. I've seen you at this gym for four and a half years. Like you are the same, you look exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Like what's the point? What are you doing? What's your, what's your purpose? And I feel like maybe that there, maybe people just don't understand the, the power of heavy lifting, heavy short lifting. Do you find that like high intensity interval training is more effective than just like an hour or two of pumping iron? Oh, absolutely. I, I think if you're working out for more than 45 minutes, then you weren't working hard enough. Mm -hmm. Like at the end of 45 minutes, I'm destroyed. Yeah. You're like, hey, dude, if you do one set of heavy deadlifts, like your entire body, nervous system, everything is just like, holy crap. Like, yeah, like you're shaking by the time you're done with those sets. And 
you don't get that feeling when you're doing like stupid bicep curls and you know calf raises to try to shape and side bends like people spend two hours in a gym talking on a cell phone walking on a treadmill using the elliptical mm -hmm. picking up small weights doing 20 repetitions of bicep curls mm -hmm. and then they're like hey i worked out and then they go home and drink a 400 calorie gatorade and eat yeah. uh, eat a 600 calorie lean mean because you know lean cuisine or whatever and they don't realize that they've already undone everything that they did in the gym and more. And yeah. diet is diet's at least 80 percent of people's success or failures. Most people don't don't want to hear that because they don't want to give up their cookies and, and pasta and crappy foods. There was a really interesting article in the New York Times that was about um, is exercise the key to losing weight? And it was totally people were exploding over this article because the guy like basically looked at some research and he was just like, on average, when people exercise, they tend to have a bigger appetite. Mm -hmm. And it gives people an excuse to have that cupcake. They're like, oh, I worked out, so I gotta have that cookie. Right. Um, and so they said that on average, exercise has a ton of benefits for any pur any purpose. You know, it's gonna make you make you, make you smarter. It'll make you healthier. It'll make right. you like less likely to get cardiovascular problems. But for losing weight, it's not the solution. In fact, it's like it's like a bad way to lose weight. And I found that when they like in CrossFit, what they always say is that you lose fat via your diet, you gain muscle via your workout. Absolutely. Like, and so if you want to like just get strong, but you still eat those cupcakes, you're just gonna have a layer of fat that covers you. You still have the muscles, right. Most people have six packs, they're just hidden under three, four inches of, you know, three, four inches of fat. Absolutely. Which is, which is really unfortunate, but yeah, it's, it's very true. I think for some people that, uh, you know, they, they, they work out, it's not a real, you know, they don't, they, you couldn't ask them, what, what did you do last week and how much did you lift? They'll have no idea. Like, well, I did 45 minutes on elliptical, and then I did 10 minutes on this, and then that, and then I went home and ate a whole bunch. Like, but you track it. Like, uh, I track every workout, yeah. absolutely. Like Steve sent me today his workout plan, uh, it's like a Google spreadsheet, and uh, it was prepared by Vic as well. Mm -hmm. So Vic, how do you say his last name, McGarry? That, Vic McGarry. Vic McGarry. Uh, so Vic McGarry, he's actually helped me, he just created one uh, workout plan for me, and it was, uh, I was mentioning this in my talk with Joel, that like, there's a big difference between having a workout plan that says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and, and one that says Monday, July 14th, this is your workout. And like, I get this, I get this workout plan from Vic and I'm like, oh my God, it's like there's a date on it and it's tomorrow. That means <laughs> I, I, actually, have to do it. I actually have to go to the gym. Like I can't just like say, oh, Monday. Okay, well that's like, mm -hmm. so um, I found that like people having a specific workout routine or like a definite workout routine is um, helpful when mm -hmm. they, when they want like having, you know, otherwise people just go to the gym and lift a few things. Right. So let's say that you're like a regular nerd and Got it. <laughs> <laughs> done. And I spend most of the day, like, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a nerd who, who plays video games and I uh, spend most of my day on my computer. Yep. I have a job that makes me spend most of my day on my computer, let's mm -hmm. say 95. And I need to figure out how I'm going to put fitness into my life such that I can still sit on my computer 95, but I have time for working out. What would be your recommendation for this person to you know, lose 50 pounds and start looking like he wants to look? First and foremost, you have to make it a priority. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, anybody tells you that they don't have time for something. I read this great article, I think it was on Lifehacker, or they referenced, maybe it was the Wall Street Journal, I can't remember, anyways. It was, instead of saying, I don't have time for this, you need to reframe your, 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 your mind and instead say, this is not a priority. Mm -hmm. So people tell me, I don't have time to work out, instead that means working out is not a priority for me. Yeah. So for these people, they need to make working out and, and cleaning and being more mindful of what they're eating a priority. Okay. Like I said, diet I think is 80% of it. So if somebody can, can refocus and start building better habits diet-wise, even if they don't spend a minute working out, if they, don't, if they don't work out for a single second, but they clean up their diet, that will, they could drop that 50 pounds. Uh -huh. Now, when you're dropping 50 pounds and not exercising, or you're dropping 50 pounds but exercising only via long cardio like uh, ellipticals or uh, you know treadmills uh, biking whatever you're going to be burning both fat and muscle uh -huh. so what i encourage and support is uh strength training specifically very like old school basic strength training it's boring because it's not glamorous but it works so what kind squats, of squats yeah. deadlifts overhead presses push-ups pull-ups dips uh rows um, what else uh you know lunges very basic but compound movements that work your entire body. When you work out and, 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 and not only exercise those, those movements but focus on getting stronger with them and combine that with healthy eating, mm -hmm. you keep the muscle you have 
which you've already worked very hard to earn. At 50, if when you're 50 pounds heavier than you should be, mm -hmm. your legs are working very, very hard. Yeah. Your legs and your body is, you know, you generally have quite a bit of muscle, whether or not you realize it. So when you combine heavy lifting with a cleaned up diet, um, you actually start to lose, you might lose weight a little bit slower than if you were just, you know, running and, and not exercising. Um, but you're gonna keep the muscle you have which is a far better look than, than just going from overweight and, and fat to super thin and no muscle. That Got it. Like, that's the, kind of like the other end of the spectrum. So I think there's a good balance. Um, for workouts, dude, 20 minutes. My workouts maybe last 30 minutes at the most. So like if you were to do a, a body weight only workout, let's say that I'm embarrassed to go to the gym mm -hmm. and I really would like to lose at least 20 pounds before I go to the gym. Yep. Uh, I, I'm willing to start eating right, uh, so we'll talk about that in a second. Um, but I want to know what workout I should do at home uh, for like you know 20 minutes a day or 30 minutes a day. Okay. What would it be? Oh, to recover. So this okay. would be a workout routine that you would do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, I try to have I, I, for each exercise for each routine. I try to do something like um, a push, a pull, legs, and core. Okay. So a push exercise is something like push-ups mm -hmm. or overhead presses. If you're working out at home, body weight only push-ups is the best. Okay. Regular push-ups. If you can't do, if you can't uh, do push-ups, just a regular push-up on your knees. You can even put your hands up against the wall. Like that's a great place to start. Once you can do regular push-ups, then you can work on putting your feet up on a bench. Maybe eventually moving into handstand push-ups. But there is like a progression that you can go from wall push-ups all the way up to handstand push-ups, mm -hmm. which is which builds incredible strength. I mean, take a look at any gymnast. Those dudes are built with body weight only exercises. Yeah. Like if they can look like that doing body weight only exercise, you, there's no excuse for you not to get you know halfway there. So you, you would do push-ups. Push-ups with the push uh, oh. for a pull exercise, pull-ups, and nothing better than a pull-up. And, and you can always get those resistance bands if you want to make it yep. easier. Yep. And yeah, if you can't do a pull-up or you don't have a pull-up bar, you can even do things called like inverted rows where you lie underneath your desk like flat and you pull yourself up. Mm -hmm. um, kind of yeah. I, tough for me to show, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, it's yeah. something like. Yeah, we can't really show the camera. Well, it's like some kind of just like, if you had a desk, you would be something like over here. And you're lying under the desk. Lying under the desk, you just pull up, right? Pull yourself up yeah. so your chest so is hitting the bottom of the your, desk. Your feet are on the ground, your ass <laughs> is not on the ground, you pull up. Right. Like uh, they're called inverted rows. I actually have a video on YouTube called, like, yeah. what is it? Like, I call it table inverted rows, and it shows me doing these rows with an with actual desk mm -hmm. or table or something. Yeah, so um, you do work. But yes, so push, pull, legs, body weight squats. Simple squats where you're squatting where the top of your thighs are dropping below parallel. Mm -hmm. That's important. Make sure you squat deep enough. Uh, and those you can, you can increase difficulty as well. You can put your hands behind your head, your hands over your head. You can even get to the point where you're doing one-legged squats or pistol squats as they're called. Yeah. Which suck. Oh. oh man, they suck. But dude, that is, that is a great, great leg workout. And then last but not least, I would say uh, a good core exercise, something like a plank, where you're lying on the ground on your on your forearms and your feet, and your rest of your body is in a complete straight line. Yeah, like a push-up position, but with your elbows with down. With your elbows down, and you're gonna try to hold that for 30 to 60 seconds. You, just, or as long you, as you can. flex your stomach in that situation? Yep, flex your stomach, push clench your butt, you know, like really yeah. tighten every muscle you can, just work that core. Uh, so that's that's four exercises. If you do one set of each in a row and then start over again, like a circuit, Yeah. Uh, you could get that workout done in 15, maybe 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And you just worked out your entire body. So it's like a lot of people put a lot of time into like everybody wants to sell you know their 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 machine that works out the whole body or their ab oh. shooter. Oh, always wanted to try those electronic pulse so ab things. Um, yeah, the dudes using those in those videos that have abs, they did not get those. Using <laughs> that. I, I I would bet my life savings on that. Absolutely, All I did see a really good hack the system technique for getting um, uh, stomach muscles yesterday, which is pretty cool. Basically, a guy took an overhead projector and he projected a picture of David Hasselhoff on the wall, and then he just walked into the projection with the shirt off, and he just looked like he was ripped. And I was like, "Why am I putting all this effort in? I can just have a projector following me just around." Have somebody carry a projector. Yeah. <laughs> it's way easier than diet and exercise. <laughs> so you get this exercise down. Um, bodyweight exercises are great, and like you just said, a personal tr uh, personal trainer was very helpful even for those five sessions. Just yeah, somebody to teach you the basics mm -hmm. and give you give you the the tough love you need. Like, all right, stop messing around with the crap that doesn't work. Yeah. Focus on these things that that do work and and not only that but have somebody explain to you like okay what are your goals do you need to lose weight okay try focusing on these things do you need to pack on 20 pounds of muscle your diet is going to be very different you're going to yeah. need to eat a boatload of calories 
here's how you can do it. So having somebody yeah. that you can turn to. And it's sure. the same in like any situation. When you're learning a language, you want a private tutor because they'll teach you. Like not only do they provide the know-how for some, like especially the initial stages of doing something, but they're really effective for getting you to the gym. Like oh totally. Like if you have a private training session that you paid fifty bucks for, or you you're showing for, up, you're showing up, right? So that is a good way to to jumpstart a habit. I find that private trainers, like often you only need them for a month or two until you build that habit. Like the training wheels that get you going. Mm -hmm. uh, another great thing with specifically having a trainer, people are so terrified of making the wrong decision that they do nothing instead. So yeah. like, do I do three sets of five reps or four sets of six reps or should I do push-ups or like they, they freak out they just, and they just do, they do nothing. If you have somebody that says, all right, dude, shut up, go do this, 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 mm -hmm. and this on this date all the guesswork's been removed, all the emotion has been removed, you don't have to worry, eh, just, no, you're told this is what you're going to do, and, and then you go to it, and you just you kind of follow this blueprint, and if you can get somebody to, to work with you to build something specifically for you, then, then it makes your process, it makes it so much easier. Well, we found, I found out that diet is a huge part of this, and pe there are just diets that people can follow for, but each, everybody asks what the perfect diet is, and it really does depend on your goals. I don't know if you'll agree with me it's on what Twinkies I'm, and soda. That's the best one. You're, right? you're welcome. It's good. It's, it yeah. it doesn't work very well, but it's delicious. <laughs> delicious. I found that, like, I don't know if you'll agree with me on this, uh, people always talk about the slow-carb diet from the four-hour body. Mm -hmm. I found that the slow-carb diet is better for building muscle, for lifting heavier things, mm -hmm. and the paleo diet is better for looking better or, or like building or like basically cutting fat and looking strong. Mm -hmm. And uh, and those diets you to want like those are the diets that I get a lot of questions about. And then other other diets I don't hear much about anymore because are is that loud? Um, I'm sorry. Have you, besides the paleo and the four hour body diet, have you found any really successful diets or what, what do people do that makes them look good? Yeah, uh, in my opinion, personally, I think the paleo diet is, if, if your goal is to lose the most amount of weight and feel the healthiest, um, I think the paleo diet is probably the best bet. Uh -huh. uh, Steve for, actually ranks pretty highly for the paleo diet online, right? Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it's, a, it's a topic that a lot of people are very interested in, but get freaked out about. Yeah. So I wrote an article called The Beginner's Guide to the Paleo Diet. Like, Pretty standard, and I wrote it two years ago. And just recently, for whatever reason, Google changed their algorithms, and now it shows up like third or something, <laughs> which is which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, for the Paleo Diet, yeah, it outranks the Paleo Diet by <laughs> Rob Wolf. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, right, I, I got lucky there, I guess. Um, in my opinion, I think that's the best one. Personally, I follow it. I want to say probably eighty percent of the time. Uh -huh. uh, you know, the two things that I try to live by as far as diet goes. You know, a quote from Teddy Roosevelt probably gonna butcher this, but it's do the best you can with what you have where you are. Yeah. So like, yeah, you can, you know, aim for the paleo diet. Mm -hmm. And, and by that, I mean, focus on meat, vegetables, uh, nuts and fruits, like pretty basic stuff. Yeah. But if you're out at a barbecue and you don't have an option, like, dude, it's okay, man, eat a burger, yeah. and, like a burger and a bun, and it's not gonna be it's the end of the world. the world. Like, it's gonna be okay. They always say like, I'm 100% paleo 85% of the time. <laughs> right. That's, uh, that's I like that. I from CrossFitters. And I, was like, I like oh. that. Exactly. So it seems like, at least in my experience, like a solution, a simple like two-step solution for losing, for cutting out body fat and and gaining uh, and gaining strength would be uh, eat a paleo diet number one, and once you have that paleo diet down, uh, you, you add on to it by starting to exercise, mm -hmm. um, and you ex you don't want to make too many changes at once. So pick one or the other for a month or so. But like once you start to exercise, just simply like three days a week. 20 minute hardcore body workout, like you just said. Uh, I recommend CrossFit. I don't think you're a big CrossFitter. Um, I've done it a couple times. I've actually written uh, a couple articles on it. Uh -huh. I, I enjoy the I enjoy the community. I yeah. think they've done a phenomenal job of, of fostering just a great community in each individual CrossFit gym. Um, I don't love their programming, like when they have people doing 30, 30 reps of an Olympic weight um, of an Olympic lift, yeah. like snatches or clean uh, press and uh, what am I looking for here? Clean and jerks, like yeah. I ha you know, and, and it's for, because it's for time, yeah. you know, uh, form gets sacrificed drastically. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where a lot of injuries and, and bad habits can develop because you're trying to complete this really complex, heavily taxing exercise in yeah. the shortest amount of time possible for 30 repetitions. Like I, I don't, I don't agree with that necessarily. Uh, but I think, I think I love CrossFit specifically for women because it gets women, women lifting weights. Yeah. Women are so scared of picking up a weight because they think they're going to get bulky. Dude. And then they go to CrossFit and they squat and deadlift heavy and they're like, holy crap, this actually works. Like I look, I look great. Um, yeah. Stacy, the girl that I've hired, 
um, to, to be part of nerd fitness community is now like a internet hero for women all over the place because she looks great, but she did it with heavy deadlifting. Like she texted me yesterday, she deadlifted 365 yesterday. She weighs like, 100, she weighs like 140 pounds. Oh, um, crap. Yeah, and she looks like how every woman wants to look, uh -huh. but every woman is trying to get there with Zumba classes and pink, dumb, pink dumbbells. Yeah, and it's so frustrating to see. It's like, look, you can get there. It's, don't be afraid of a barbell. Mm -hmm. Pick up some heavy weights. That's how you're going to build a body that you're, that you're happy with. Combine 80%, yeah. you know, 80 of, of your success is going to be with a good diet. But that other 20%, if you want to build a kick-ass body, it's, yeah. it's lifting, it's, it's strength training. Like one of the most effective uh, insights that I got out of the four hour body was the idea of the minimum effective dose, which is that basically there's like, your body has these fibers and all of its muscles. And if you don't break the fibers, they're not gonna regrow back stronger. And if you do break the fibers, it doesn't matter if you keep breaking them, they're already broken. They're gonna grow back to the same strength. Right. So if you go to a gym and you lift you know, a few pounds, it's not gonna make any difference. But if you do 20 minutes of hardcore intense workout and you break the fibers in your muscle, they'll start to regrow. Even if you spend 12 hours or you spend 30 seconds in the gym. Yep. Once you break that fire, the minimum effective dose is what it takes to get that, that sore feeling the next day. And uh, so like really you, should, you guys should be aiming for the sore feeling at the beginning and then uh, just continually increasing based on metrics the amount that you can do. And CrossFit has a little bit of issues with, with metrics because they, they rotate the, the stretches so much. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so. Can, can, I, can I chime in on that there? Sure. Uh, I think another thing when people exercise they do like six bicep exercises in a day, or they'll, they'll do like bench press and then decline and then incline and then fly and then push ups and something like, if you're doing more than two exercises for a, for a particular muscle group, and I don't necessarily agree with like muscle group segmentation and isolation exercises, but if you're doing more than two exercises per muscle group, like you're not pushing yourself hard enough on those first two exercises. Like if you do super heavy squats, there's no way you're gonna be able to do you know, six sets of lunges and then extensions and then yeah. and then hamstring curls and then which means you didn't work hard enough on your first set. Yeah, so it just it diminishing marginal returns. Those first that first exercise and those first couple of sets are so crucial. But each exercise after that just becomes uh, increasingly less less helpful. And you know, the only people that should be doing those exercises are probably you know multiple exercises for each body part daily is, I would say, bodybuilders yeah. on, on steroids. Absolutely, I like that you really encapsulated the, the idea of nerd fitness in that sentence when you said, the fitness level has diminishing marginal returns. <laughs> <laughs> we use both of the concepts in one simple sentence. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about um, the nerd fitness vision. Okay. So you've gone from basically nobody to a huge blog. Like I've seen the numbers, it's crazy. A very successful blog. It's like really, he's a good, a good uh, a person to track because you can see how he just grew and exploded. And I want to know, like, what do you feel were the biggest jumps in your business, like, or your readership? Sure. Basically? Honestly, uh, the, the 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 thing I could point to specifically was about nine months after I'd started. Nine months in, I had cranked out five articles a week while working a day job. Five articles every week, mm -hmm. and they were like, but they were five, you know, they were five hundred word articles, okay. like top 10 tips to do this and you know like crap that I thought I was supposed to be writing mm -hmm. but was not actually being effective mm -hmm. and I stumbled across Baker from Man Vs. Debt yeah. and he wrote an article called How to Not Suck at Blogging <laughs> and I read this article and that was the first time I'd ever, I'd ever heard of Baker and I read his article and I was like okay I suck at that, I suck at that, I suck at that, I suck. Mm -hmm. Wow, I suck at blogging. I'm doing the exact opposite of all these things. Yeah, what do you say? Basically, write longer in depth. Yeah, it was just put your personality out there. Like, you you know, if you want to attract the skimmer, somebody that reads the top reads a top ten list and then forgets about it and moves on to the next top ten list but never actually applies anything, mm -hmm. write those articles. If you want to find somebody that is super engaged and and loves uh, you know loves your message and really wants to become involved and and in, you know become a part of of what you're trying to create. Mm -hmm. Create, don't be afraid of writing long articles full of, full of in-depth information and, yeah. and nerdy personalities. And your articles are pretty long and super nerdy. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> they're like they tend to be like over 2,000 words on average, you think? Like oh, that, absolutely. Oh, dude, at least 2,000. Yeah, his articles are very long. You have pictures and they very much inject personality. I love the way that you do it. Um, in fact, I'm very impressed because mine are never long, as long or as good as yours. And how did you it's get... It's okay, man. I still like you. It's okay, thanks. But they don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all 11 of you. Uh, so how did so <laughs> how did you um, 
I, I once sat down. I, I met the uh, one of the one of the really high ups at Facebook, and I was like, "Hey, do you mind if I interview you for my podcast?" And he's like, "Oh, well, um, yeah, sure. What's your readership level like?" I'm like, "It's in the high, almost a hundred. <laughs> it's really good." I have literally dozens and dozens <laughs> literally of followers. Dozens of followers. So he's like, "We'll talk." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but so okay. So I want to know more about um, about the the the. the the growth side. So sure. you say, first of all, you did, you started writing better articles, you started writing mm -hmm. more in-depth articles, did you cut down the amount of articles you were writing? Yes, instead of doing five a week, I just cut to two a week. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but I just put my focus on being very, very helpful in very specific ways. We were talking about earlier that people just wanna to be told exactly what to do. Yeah. So I realized, like, okay, I'm gonna start writing articles and telling people what to do. Yeah. So I was like, okay, here's a beginner body weight workout. Mm -hmm. Do this, 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 and this. Here's the paleo diet. Don't eat this. Eat this. Yeah. Do you want to look like a superhero? Here is a superhero workout. Do you want to do workout while traveling? Here is a workout that you can do while traveling. Do this, this, and this. So you made it very actionable, very clear. Not yes. ten steps, but you one exactly. formula. Exactly. Ab absolutely. You could finish the article and say, okay, I know exactly what I need to do this afternoon to level up my life. Got so it. I could follow. So I spent, uh, from that point on, I it was like another year of two articles a week, 2,000 words. Um, I haven't written many guest posts, believe it or not. I've written like, I think maybe five total. Mm -hmm. uh, so I really, I just put my focus on being helpful. Like when people emailed me or people left a comment on the article, on an article, I would email them directly and say, hey man, thanks for the comment. How did you find Nerd Fitness and what can I help you with? That's good. And I did that for, I did that for a couple of months up until it got to the point where I just couldn't keep up with it. But it gave me a very, very direct line to people that had stumbled across the site, had decided they liked it so much that they left a comment, mm -hmm. and then I could ask them, hey, what are you struggling, what are you working on, what are you struggling with, and how can I help? Exactly. And for, I did that for a couple of months, and that kind of shaped the, the direction of how I was going to write, and uh, I think the real, the real turning point when Nerd Fitness kind of took off after that was when I decided to add message boards to my site. Mm -hmm. And normally message boards are like one step above YouTube as far as, you know, the cesspool of the internet. It's, yeah. You know, YouTube comments. It's like YouTube comments, 4chan, and then um, yeah. message boards. Like people exactly. just attack each other and and uh, use the uh, the anonymity. Did I say that right? An sure, why not? Anonymity. anonymity of the internet to hide behind that and, and attack other people. But I knew I had this, this really cool concept, and I had a group of people that were very interested in... in being nerdy and and healthy. So you build this forum. People come. They start instead of us going back. Instead of being Steve Cam talking to a reader, then reading back or emailing back, it yeah. became all the readers could now talk to oh, each okay. other. Yeah. And it went from being being a reader, being a blog. I call it like a boy in his blog. It is now a community. So yeah. now there's like eight thousand people posting on the message boards, and they're organizing meetups in their own towns, whether or not I'm there or not. That's awesome. Um, People like, uh, I have one guy that wants to get a nerd fitness tattoo. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, and they, they come up with all the ideas and just, if you, if you ever get a, if you get a chance, spend like five minutes on the nerd fitness message boards, you'll be blown away. People don't fight. Um, it's all like constructive, positive, Great. Uh, supportive. And like I said, people, you know, we have a section called the boot room and people like, Hey, I lost ten pounds this. I lost ten pounds this month. Or I got, a, I got a new pair of jeans that I actually fit in. And uh -huh. you know, if they're the one person in their group of friends that is actually interested in getting healthy, their friends don't care how much they can deadlift. They yeah. want to know how many kills they got in Halo. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But here they can come online and say, like, "Oh, cool! I can actually talk about both Halo and deadlifting. Yeah. This is my new home." <laughs> so people find it, and it's 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 very cool to see how quickly people just you know, become very attached. Yeah. Cool sight about game programming that was like pretty effective but then then it started to get the dirty scumbags people and I wasn't moderating it so do you ever moderate your forum or? yeah well I did initially and then I had a couple of volunteer moderators and now we have like 15 or 16 volunteer moderators nice. and I give them a quick trigger you know I, I give them carte blanche to yeah. if, if somebody's fighting like jump in there like hey none of that you know I'm not out. Get, yeah dude like you're not providing anything constructive this is not the community for you thanks for coming Thanks for your time, but your time is better spent elsewhere. So where do you see the future of Nerd Fitness over the next few years? Oh, dude. Uh, well, we're probably going to have a moon base at some point. Yeah, like, 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 a moon, like the Nerd, Nerd Fitness headquarters would be in a bubble on the moon, I think. <laughs> if things go according to plan. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll... impossible moon. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Nerd moon. Yeah. Hack the moon. Oh, I'm buying that domain name today. Uh, <laughs> hack, hack, hack the, the moon. moon. Dot com. <laughs> uh, that's, that's awesome. No, honestly, I think I, I see it continuing to grow as a community. Uh -huh. um, 
I really, I think I want to do a lot more with getting people together in person. Mm -hmm. I think people really struggle with not having that, that, that in-person community, especially if there's that one person in their group of friends or yeah. that one person in their family that is interested in getting healthy. So I definitely want to put a lot more focus on getting people connected in person in different towns around the country and really the world. Like there was a, a Sydney nerd fitness meetup. I wasn't in Sydney, but there, were, there was like a bunch of nerd fitness readers in Sydney yeah. that like, hey, can we get together? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> so instead of, you know, I want, to, I want to identify people in each city that are, that can be rebel leaders in each of these locations and have them, give them the necessary resources to organize nerd fitness meetups. Um, I think we're in the process of building this really super secret video game slash fitness tracking thing that super should be out within the next, within the next <laughs> uh, six weeks, I hope. Uh, that is going to be probably the nerdiest and most elaborate project I have ever invested any time or money into, but I am so excited about it. You know, the concept of nerd fitness has been level up your life yeah. since day one, and I just, I cannot wait to actually level up in real life and allow that to level up a character in a video game. I love that. Oh so, we're gosh. close. We're close. I uh, saw I saw this uh, really cool project that was being made that was like a... Uh, it was a it was a controller for like Counter Strike, and it was a uh, it was two treadmills that were attached, so you could move in any direction. The treadmills would follow you, and you would stay in the same place. And these guys were like running or sprinting or jumping because the head would move up and down. And I'm like, in the future, the most fit people in the world would be the guys who play video games all day because they'll just be like running on the treadmill, like firing guns and like doing backflips and shit. And like <laughs> regular people who used to be the stronger ones will be like on the computers, and just <laughs> on the phone. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think I'm, there's a lot of power for yeah. mobile technology to build. I think it really wants to watch. It's, it's this darn Swedish giant <laughs> washing machine. <laughs> Every time that this is awesome. I love it. Yeah, absolutely. So um, before we go, Steve, yep. I want to arm wrestle you. <laughs> <laughs> it must be done. My right arm's a little fucked. Are you down for a left arm arm wrestle be, uh, fight? A left arm. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I guess so. I spent all day yesterday uh, doing Habitat for Humanity, pulling hammer nails. Well, wait, mostly I hammer with the right, so I think left should be okay. Yeah. Perfect. Or wait, no, I should have said I hammer with my left, so that way when I lose, I can blame it on. Sorry, I was helping build a house. Yesterday. Sorry, he was helping children. When you lose, I think you're gonna beat me. I've lost to actually many a girl, so I'm about to lose a lot right now. I used to have a old um, uh, Facebook video sequence where I would go around trying to arm wrestle girls in all the countries of the world. <laughs> Um, and of course I, you did. Of course I did. And I was in Australia once, and this very, very pretty Australian girl, who's very small and dainty, says, all right, let's arm wrestle. And she's like, we're in the middle of a bar, and there's like, oh, 45 people watching us. And we start to arm wrestle, and it wasn't even like it was a fight for me to lose. It was like she took my arm, and she was just like, and the whole crowd started laughing, and I just got up and walked away. I just left the bar. I was like, uh, Good night, game over. get out. <laughs> Um, but I only put up the ones that I win online. So okay, okay, cool. <laughs> so so we'll cut, cut this out and then if it doesn't... <laughs> this is never going to happen on video. Alright, we got a tough angle here. There we are. How's that? Good, I guess what am I... What am I going to... Yeah, uh, are we going to hit? Oh, that's good enough. We'll, good enough. <laughs> we'll make it work. We can do it. Alright, cool. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nerd fitness, baby. <laughs> you back the system. <laughs> no! Ah, all right. Next time, I'll follow your workout. I'll follow uh, Vixen next time, man. Didn't break, didn't break the table, so that's good. Yeah, everything's good. Hey guys, check out nerdfitness.com. Uh, Steve's a great guy. He's actually a really good guy. Oh, thanks. Man. I know. I love this kid. Here's, and, your, here's your five bucks for saying that. <laughs> check it out. And um, he's got a great site, nerdfitness.com. I promise you guys will have. I just searched the paleo diet, and you'll find it. <laughs> but uh, check it out. He's a smart dude, and he's uh, he's got a lot of insights, and his articles are excellent. So um, thanks a lot, Steve. And uh, hopefully dude. we'll have you again, man. All right. Great. Thanks Sounds a lot. Good. Next time we'll do it on the moon. Next time on the moon base. Hack the moon. See you guys. <laughs>